All right. Welcome to the star grade four reading test. I will be reading the questions and answer choices. Please make sure that you read the passage before. And let's get started. You can go at your own pace. So after reading the passage, number one. How can the reader tell that attending the picnic is important to Christopher? A. He tries to be very careful when he arrives at school on Friday. B. He invites his friends to sit next to him on, bus, on the bus ride to school. C. He tells the principal what happened in Mr. Gregg's class. D. He has not been to the principal's office this week. Number two. Christopher's friends most likely think that F, the bus driver, is being unfair. G, the principal will tell Christopher's mother that he cannot go to the picnic. H, his actions are amusing. J, he can stay out of trouble long enough to be allowed to go to the picnic. Number three, paragraph 22 is important to the story because it shows that Christopher a is hoping the principal is absent again. B has been sent to the principal's office often. C expects the principal to allow him to attend the picnic. D is willing to explain to the principal what really happened. Number four. What is the best summary of paragraphs 7 through 10? F. Christopher tells his friends Timothy and Rashid that he does not think he can go to the, go the whole day without getting into trouble. G. Christopher compares how he is feeling to how the bus chugs up the hill. H. Christopher has a problem that he shares with his friends Timothy and Rashid. J. Christopher is too loud on the school bus and gets in trouble with the driver. Number four, I mean number five, just kidding, JK. Number five, what does paragraph 11 reveal about Christopher's character? A, he has to work hard to take care of borrowed materials. B, he does not take responsibility for his actions. C, he likes to joke around with his friends. D, he depends on his friends to get him out of difficult situations. Number six, what does the word misfortunes mean? What does the word misfortunes mean in paragraph 11? F, demanding jobs. G, difficult decisions. H, confusing messages. J, unlucky events. Now we're looking at the second passage. Looking at number seven. Which sentence from the selection is an opinion? Which one's an opinion? A. Long ago, people played games that are similar to marble games played today. Paragraph two. B. Different types of marbles have been found in places all around the world. Paragraph two. C. They were beautiful, and each one was unique. Paragraph 4. D. Others had swirls of one color or many different colors. Paragraph 4. Number 8. What, which phrase in paragraph 11 helps the reader understand the meaning of annual? F. Fun of it. G. Very seriously. H, this competition, J, each year. Number nine. Read this sentence from paragraph two. To make marbles, people used items that could roll, such as nuts, fruit pits, or round pebbles. Based on the information in this sentence, the reader can conclude that early marbles were A. Difficult to find B. Made by children 
C. Much smaller in size than marbles are today. D. Created from a variety of available materials. Number 10. Paragraphs 5 and 6 are mainly about how F. Inventions lowered the cost of marbles. G. Glassmakers figured out how to cut marbles easily. H. Glass is melted in order to make a marble. J. The shape of marbles has improved over time. Number 11. Which, which sentence in the selection is best supported by the photographs between paragraphs 9 and 10? A. No one really knows where and exactly when they were invited. Paragraph 2. B. Now more people could buy them. Paragraph 5. C. Marbles are placed inside a circle that is drawn on the ground. Paragraph 9. D. Players may lose some of their favorite marbles. Paragraph 10. Number 12. In which, uh, in which part of the selection would the reader find information about the history of marbles? F. The introductory paragraph. G. The section titled Marbles Through Time. H. The caption under the first photograph. J. The section titled Marble Games. Okay, the next passages. Use Max's Find, page 16 through 17, to answer questions 13 through 16. Then fill in the answers on your answer document. Number 13. What effect does Max working in Grandpa's yard have on the plot of the story? A. It makes Dad proud of Max. B. It causes Max to become tired and grumpy. C. It leads Max to a surprise discovery. D. It proves to Grandpa that Max is a good helper. Number 14. When Max shows his father the time capsule he dug up, Max's father most likely feels F. Amazed that Max found it when he could not. G. Pleased to see things that were once meaningful to him. H. Upset that Max is no longer helping Grandpa plant a tree. J. Concerned about what Max will think when he sees what is in the can. Number 15. Which point of view does the author use in this story? A. First person from Max's perspective. B. First person from Dad's perspective. C. Third person from the perspective of Max's grandfather. Third person from the perspective of an unknown observer. 16. In paragraph 1, the author uses the phrases, Wipe the sweat from his brow and felt like he had been digging for hours to suggest that Max F expects to discover a special surprise G is struggling with a difficult job H dislikes spending time outdoors J is determined to help plant trees use messages in bottles pages 18 through 19 to answer questions 17 through 20, then fill in the answers on your answer document. In paragraph 3, the suffix er in the word sender helps the reader understand that the word refers to a person who sends, an object that is sent, the sending of something again, the method used to send things. 18. What happened as a result of someone finding a bottle that had been released by students in Hawaii in the year 2007? F. The bottle experiment quickly spread to other schools. G. People around the world were encouraged to find pen pals. H. Students tried to send messages and bottles to their classmates. J. Two people living in different parts of the world became friends. Number 19. The author wrote this selection most likely to A. Persuade the reader to try sending a message in a bottle 
B, tell the reader how to start a floating bottle experiment at school. C, describe some examples of messages sent in bottles and tell what happened to them. D, explain some of the challenges of trying to communicate with people who live across the ocean. Number 20, paragraphs two and three are mainly about F, rewards people have received for returning bottles that were found. G, what keeps people what keeps bottles with messages in them from sinking in the ocean? H, bottles that have drifted in the sea and then been found. J, what people write on the notes that are placed inside bottles. Number 21. Use Max's find and messages in bottles to answer questions 21 through 24. Then fill in the answers on your answer documents. 21, what conclusion can the reader make based on both the story and the selection? A, people enjoy the experience of finding hidden objects or messages. B, it is important to follow instructions that are included with messages. C, People can become friends with someone whom they have never met. D. It is common to find objects that have been left in secret places. Number 22. Based on the story and the selection, what is one way a time capsule differs from a message in a bottle? F. A time capsule is opened by the person who made it while a message in a bottle is opened by a stranger. G. A time capsule stays in the same place, while a message in a bottle travels to a new place. H. A time capsule is hidden for a long time, while a message in a bottle is found quickly. J. A time capsule is for everyone to share, while a message in a bottle is intended for a specific person. 23. Read these sentences from paragraph 12 of Max's Find. I never knew you looked like that, Dad. It is really awesome to see pictures of you and some of the things you enjoyed when you were my age, Max said. Which sentences from messages in, a, in, from messages in bottles express a similar idea? A. It is a glass bottle and inside is a rolled up piece of paper. This message in a bottle may have traveled halfway around the world before landing on this beach. B. They do so for different reasons. Most, of, most often it is simply for fun. C. Occasionally someone tries to use a message in a bottle to contact a particular person. In 1914, a British soldier fighting in World War I wrote a letter to his wife. D. The fisherman delivered the letter to, his, to the soldier's daughter, who, who was an adult by then. She was thrilled to receive the letter and learn more about her father. 24. How is the time capsule in Max's find similar to the bottles and messages in bottles? F. It was made in the 1980s. G. It was covered by water. H. It was found by accident. J. It held many items. Twenty-five. The imagery in the third stanza, lines nine through twelve most appeals to the reader's sense of a sound b taste c smell d touch 26 which statement best describes how the poet uses rhyme in each stanza of the poem f only the second and fourth lines rhyme g only the first and third lines rhyme h the first and third lines rhyme and the second and fourth lines rhyme J, the first and second lines rhyme, and the third and fourth lines rhyme. 27. 
Why is the first stanza, lines one through four, important to the poem? A, it describes how grandma's visit makes every day exciting. B, it explains why grandma does not visit the speaker very often. C, it describes the activities grandma has planned for her visit. D, it shows the speaker's surprise that grandma has come to visit. 28. Which statement correctly describes a way that stanzas 2 through 7, lines 5 through 28, are similar? Each stanza introduces a new reason that grandma comes to visit. B. Each, G. Each stanza offers interesting facts about the history of the speaker's family. H. Each stanza highlights the reasons the speaker enjoys grandma's visits. J. Each stanza describes delicious foods that grandma prepares. 29. Which of these statements describes an element of the poem? A. All of the lines have the same number of words. B. Most of the lines have the same meter. C. Each stanza introduces a new character. D. Each stanza solves a different problem. 30. The end of the poem expresses the idea that the speaker, F. Would like grandma to stay longer. G. Shares many secrets with grandma. H. Is curious why grandma has to leave. J. Knows when grandma will visit again. Number 31. Read the dictionary entry for the word secure. 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 Verb. Number one, to place something where it will not move. Two, to get something as a result of trying. Three, to make certain or sure of. Four, to promise payment of. Which definition most closely fits the way the word secure is used in paragraph four? A, definition one. B, definition 2, C, definition 3, D, definition 4. 32. Which fact in the selection is best supported by the last photograph? F. Acorn weevils are the first insects to live in acorns. G. Acorn weevil larvae eat the inside of the acorn. H. Acorn weevils can use their snouts to drill holes in acorns. J. Acorn weevil larvae are inside an acorn where it falls from the tree. 33. Based on the selection, the reader can conclude that acorns A. Are similar to many other types of nuts that people eat. B. Must be properly prepared before humans can eat them. C. Are becoming rare because many animals use them. D can cause serious damage when they fall off trees. 34. What is the best summary of the selection? F. Acorns are nuts which drop from oak trees in the fall. People have found ways to prepare and eat acorns for many years. Some animals, including several types of insects, use acorns for food and even for shelter. G. Acorns usually drop from, the, from trees before colored leaves do. They hit everything beneath them and are often gathered by squirrels. At certain points in history, they were also gathered, prepared, and eaten and eaten by people. H. The ancient Romans, Native Americans, and pilgrims all ate acorns. Some animals also used acorns in interesting ways. However, the Native Americans were the only ones who thought of using acorns for medicine. J. Native Americans used to prepare baskets of acorns. Animals such as the acorn woodpecker may hide many acorns in dead trees or telephone poles. The acorn weevil and the acorn moth lay their eggs in or near an acorn. 35. Which statement best describes how baby acorn weevils know that it is time to leave their acorn homes. A. They finish eating all the nut meat inside of the acorn. B. An adult acorn weevil dr drills a new hole in the acorn. C. The acorn drops from the oak tree to the ground below. D. The weather becomes so warm that the 
the weather becomes so warm that no acorn shelter is needed. 36. The photograph of the acorn woodpecker and the information in paragraph 6 best supports the idea that the woodpecker F uses acorns to attract the insects it likes to eat. G. Will lay its eggs inside the acorn filled tree. H. Prefers sweet tasting acorns to bitter ones. J. Is creating storage for many hours. Uh, is creating storage for many acorns. Be sure to have recorded all of your answers on the answer document. Stop. That is the end of the reading test. And that was the grade four reading practice star test.